<laughs> oh, Brenda, Biscuits? you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. And his baseball trophy. Hmm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. Gauze pads. I could use a shave. Some kind of lotion. so much morphine for candles smart musty as hell I guess someone needed some first aid recently Ugh, what is this stuff looks like a bunch of medical waste in here IV tubes saline what would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff huh, where is that cord going Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. 
He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Uh, I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. <gasps> Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They—they they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Please settle down! I'll, I'll Could there be a hole off. behind these pallets? Make you swallow them! No such luck. Come on! Try yourself! Cowards! Dad! Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. If you want to Chills live. are pretty sturdy. Not gonna we help. could climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. They're not gonna open the door. You, you think a fucking apocalypse gives you the right to chop people into Don't want to know what kind. Dad, this isn't helping. They got caught you and Duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, oh, God. Dad? No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. 
If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Kenny, listen! Don't think I forgot about what you said at the drugstore. When you all thought Duck was bitten. Well, I'm just doing the same thing. Except Duck wasn't bitten. And we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting all of us what? at risk, you son of a bitch! You're freaking worthless, Lee. No! Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Not yet. We still have to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is their safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Sorry, Lily. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. You've got to think about saving your own life now. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. 
I've got a rock. Ah, uh, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor end, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Too small for us to fit through. I can do it. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. 